and welcome to Carnivore Breakthrough. My name is Tony Ceramello. Today I want to discuss what's it like to live to eat or eat to live. What are you doing in life? Let's get at it. Hello, welcome to Carnivore Breakthrough. My name is Tony Ceramello. Today I like to discuss what it's like to live to eat or eat to live. And what are, what are we doing in our lives? Which way are we going? Well, when you have a carnivore lifestyle or a carnivore diet, whatever you want to call it, we eat to live. We don't live to eat. And most people live to eat. they like, oh, I can't, I, I can't do a carnivore diet. I just love my whatever it might be, pasta, um, whatever, whatever food it is. I love my food. In reality, they're hooked on their food. It's like a drug. Carbohydrate, we have carbohydrates it does in your brain what cocaine does in your brain. So it's really, really hard to kick the habit of carbohydrates. Really hard. But once you do that and you start your carnivore diet, and that does take, it could take a week or so to get over to carbs because it's really hard. Some people take longer. Mine wasn't really that long. I wasn't that crazy on carbs, but I, I did eat my carbs. I had my bread and my peanut butter and all this other stuff. However, once you get over it, you're over it. But until then, it gets really hard. It's, it's withdrawal. It's, it's so hard. It's like smoking cigarettes and trying to quit. So it's very hard. So I can understand why people live to eat because they're so hooked on carbs that they have to eat every few hours right? Aren't we taught, taught to eat three times a day? Really? That's really not how we're supposed to be. As carnivores, like a lion gets a gazelle in the woods, he gets the gazelle, he eats it and eats and eats until he's completely full. And the lion gets up and he walks away. Now the lion can lay down over here and see another gazelle coming, but he's not going to get that gazelle. He's going to let it walk right by because he's not hungry again. And the same thing as a carnivore. When you eat carnivore or a carnivore diet or a carnivore lifestyle, it's the same thing. You eat and the nutrition and the food that you're eating just fills you up so much that there's no more, no hunger pains. You don't get hungry every few hours like you would on a standard American diet, which most people are on the standard American diet, which is called the SAD diet, standard American diet. But once you eat this way as a carnivore, like I said, you don't get hungry anymore. Like before I, I, you know, started eating a carnivore way, all through my life, there was always, you're looking for a pill that can control the hunger because you get hungry, your stomach starts growling, you have to eat. This is that pill. You, you eat like this, you don't, it actually it was hard when I first started, I, I wasn't eating. Like I, I would eat and then the next day I wouldn't even be hungry again. I can go two days without even eating. There's no hunger. Can you imagine that? I'm going to say you can, because if you're not a carnivore, you can't imagine that. You just can't. You don't know until you actually do it. But once you are, once you do become a carnivore, that's the way it is. And so it's a no, whole new learning curve to learn when to eat because you're just not hungry all the time which is amazing so there's no hunger pains in your stomach now the more you might work out in the gym or do stuff like that you might get a little or you might need more food to help build those muscles that you're working out with but like sometimes there's a few times i went like i ate in the morning the next day i didn't eat and i got up and went to the gym and worked out and was just as strong as I would have been, you know, whatever. I just, I just was, and I didn't eat. And I had so much strength, and, and it's so much better working at the gym now, working out, than before I was a carnivore. You got this energy that just, it's great. It's actually amazing. It's really good. But the hunger signals are not there. You just don't get hungry again. You eat like a gazelle to eat. You wait until the next day or whatever it might be till you get a desire to eat so it's no longer like i have to eat like people living in the, you know with the standard american diet they have to eat every couple hours they have all whatever they have cereal for breakfast a banana some orange juice um uh, some pancakes whatever it might be 
those carbs make you get hungry. So what happens when you eat all those carbs, you spike your insulin. I'll try to explain this real simple, but you say your insulin spikes up, so there's a wall that goes up. And on one side, you eat all the carbs you ate here, and over here is all the fat on your body where you get the energy from. However, when you eat all these carbs, it spikes your insulin. So now your body no longer gets energy from the, car, from the, the fat or the fat on your body. It gets the energy from the carbs. And then your insulin goes down and you get hungry again. So what do you do? You fill it up with carbs again. Same thing. It spikes up again. And now, again, you're not using the fat on your body. And that's why people get fat because they're, they're not using the fat on their body. They're living off their carbs. You don't get fat from fat. That's a misconception 100%. As a carnivore, you need to eat a lot of fat. You need uh, meat, salt, butter. You, need, you do need a lot of fat. We were told no fat, uh, lean meat, and very little meat, um, nothing with cholesterol, low on the eggs. It's actually the opposite. You need all the fat, you need the bacon, you need the eggs, you need the cholesterol. It's, you need all this, this food. And they're teaching us a whole different way, the standard American diet, which went into full speed probably in 1970, where they, they made the pyramid, which is a whole other thing. I don't want to get into that right now. But the pyramid was actually backwards. It should be the other way around. They have all grains and vegetables and all these things that you should be eating. So what we did was we switched to that diet, and there's a whole reason that happened, and I don't want to get into that. But by doing that, since then, diabetes had tripled, overweight. Um, every disease you, you could think of, self-inflicted, really, disease. we call them diseases, but they're toxicities from all this food and all this crap that we're eating. And, and it's really, really killing America. So if you get off of all these carbs and all this way of, of living, all these diseases kind of self-inflicted diseases go away and you become you actually you become so healthy you feel so much better i actually feel like how could i put this like superman i wake up like i'll go to bed at night put my head on the pillow right out to sleep no more melatonins none of that stuff i might sleep six maybe seven hours i get up in the morning jumping up ready to go it's just amazing it's so different from when you eat that other crazy standard American diet. Um, the energy level is unbelievable. Uh, you don't, like I said, you don't get the spikes. You don't get the desires for all this crazy food. You just eat that once a day, maybe twice, but once a day. And you get the, 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 this, the clarity in your mind, your aches, your pains. Um, I had all kinds of issues going on, elbows, knees, pains, and all that stuff's gone. Like, it's just not there anymore. I feel like a 20-something-year-old. I feel like Superman. And if I do eat some of that standard American diet, which I don't at all, I might have had a couple ice creams in the last eight months or so. And when I did, you could feel it when you have it. Because when you don't have that crap for so long, and then you do have it, you could feel the difference. So I feel like Superman where I got kryptonite and it came and he ate some kryptonite or, you know, he got close to kryptonite and you feel it. But without that, you just feel good all the time. You, you're at one level. You're not spiking up and down. Like when you're eating the standard American diet, you know, the insulin spikes, you, you know, you get hungry, then you get full, then it comes down and then you're like drained. You're like, oh, you got to eat again. You can actually get irritated. I see people get irritated because they're not eating. It's, it's so sad, and that's why it's called the sad, the Amer sad American diet, standard American diet. So, I don't know. It's carnivore is how you eat to live, not live to eat. Well, if you like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if, if you are a carnivore, actually put, put some... Um, a note down below what how you have lived through this and what you have done as a carnivore and things that you went through. I'd like to see your comments. Okay, have a great day. Thank you.